Susie says, says she plans on filing a report with Pasco County Animal Services. They say poisoning cats is a criminal offense and they will investigate. Happening today in just a few hours, there is a big event where you can help support your local law enforcement and their families. It's the 18th annual Tampa Police Memorial Run. The run is a chance to run alongside with the men and women who give so much for all of us by serving our community. And the money raised goes to fund that is set up and set aside to help families in the event we lose an officer, something that has happened in our area far too often. You know, heaven forbid there is a tragedy, we, uh, we pay for things, you know, we're, we're behind the scenes. It's the food for the families, the, the limos that they need at the funeral and uh, even funeral services. So that's what all the money is raised for. It's an absolutely fantastic cause. The race is this morning at 8 a.m. It's not too late to get involved. You can still register now. If you don't want to run, you can take part in a one-mile fun walk that starts at 9 a.m. Or just enjoy the day. There's food, giveaways, door prizes, raffles, flat-screen TVs, and gift certificates. The fun run goes until about 11.30. Okay, the Purple Ribbon 5K run and walk is going on today in Lakeland. The event is sponsored by Heather's Hope Foundation, named for Heather Lynn Rimmer. She was a Bay Area teacher who was shot and killed by her husband in an apparent murder-suicide back in August of 2008. Now, our Laura Harris joins us live from the event. And Laura, you have a very special guest with you, do you not? I do have very special guests with me, but before we get to all of that, we want people to know that just because you're not out here just yet or you haven't registered, come on out. We're right at Lake Hollingsworth, and we would love for you to come and support this amazing cause. As you said, Heather Rimmer, a Bay Area teacher, you know, she survived by two beautiful daughters, a family that loved her very much, and they want to make sure that other victims of domestic violence, they stop it right now. So we're all here today expecting hundreds of people, and guess who I have with me? I've got Bonnie and Bob. They were Heather's parents. And I can't tell you how exciting it is to have you with us this morning. Bonnie, just give me a little bit about why do this. This is the fourth year for it. Right, right. Well, we felt we wanted to do something um, after Heather passed away. We wanted to do something to raise awareness of domestic violence and to try to help. If we can save one life from this race and from the uh, information that we uh, put out, then it's well worth it. People lacing up their shoes, trying to really just stomp out domestic violence. And at ABC, we're doing the whole domestic violence right. campaign. We want people to understand that it, it just doesn't have to happen to you, right, Bob? No, it, it doesn't. There's there's help. In fact, Bonnie's on the uh, Polk County um, task, force. task Force Against Domestic Violence. She was just appointed, and, and we've been active in that. Um, and, and there is help. You just there, we've got Peace River here that's going to be here this morning. They help. We have a shelter locally. Um, we put on a play at the high schools about teen abuse and domestic violence. So yeah, there is help. You just have to search it out. You can go to our website www.heathershope.net, and there's uh, links there that you can hook up to and and find out where you can call, where you can go and things like that. And what I love about this Lakeland community, you have all band together and really trying to help those that need, and like we said before, Bonnie, being proactive about it instead right. of reactive. Exactly, exactly. Um, there are so many resources out there now uh, for people that are going through this, um, which, you know, had we known about prior to Heather's death, you know, maybe things would have turned out differently, but we've learned so much over the last four years about this horrific, horrific crime and um, so like I said we we have this race each year just trying to raise uh, awareness and raise funds to do things for the community and give back well Bonnie and Bob we do appreciate what you do for the community hopefully many people are going to turn out a little bit later on thank Certainly. you so very thank much, you so much for being thank here. you all right so you be one of those many people to show up race starts at 8 they're saying to me if you get here at 755 you can still register lace up for a great cause we would love 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 to see you out here we'll be back in just a little bit with another very special guest we'll be talking to Heather's beautiful daughters that's coming up in just a little bit but for now we are live in Lakeland Laura Harris ABC Action News Laura thank you very much for that. Guess what? Coming up, mm -hmm. do you have a problem with Brussels sprouts? Uh, no, I, I'm kind of neutral on them. I like Brussels sprouts, but if you have problems getting your uh, family to eat Brussels sprouts, we have a way to change that. You know what? How about maple Brussels sprouts? Hmm. That's Interesting twist. We'll see that.